That's not a bounce house. What is that? It's a wrestling ring. I'm Ever out. since I was a kid, I said, I want two boys and a girl. So when we went in for the ultrasound and we find out it's a girl, I was thinking, yes, I got the girl. I get to do pink, I get to do lace. I was thrilled. Well, at 31 weeks, I go in for the fun ultrasound. It was the new technology, the 4D. And at first, everything was fine. Look, there's all the toes, there's the fingers, there's her little fat knees. And she got to the face. Her eyes just cut to me and I could see the concern and I realized something is wrong and my heart just sank. So we met with the doctor. We found out cleft lip for sure and we're not sure anything else. It wasn't until she was born that I knew when I first saw her, I was like, okay, we got problems. It was a visible hole, you know, right here and our nose was like over here. If your nasal cavity is over here and you don't have a palate, well, you can't eat. I mean, she was choking. You know, everything that goes in was just coming out immediately. So the plan was, at three months, they would correct her lip. Then between six and eight months, they would close the palate. She's had seven surgeries to just correct her cleft lip and palate. Kids suffering is a tough thing to watch, especially when it's your kid. Because of our faith in God and our commitment to each other and to our daughter, we got through it, we're getting through it. It's not over yet, but we want to encourage other people that they can do the same. Please welcome both Jace and Missy Robertson to the show. Also joining us today is their daughter, Mia's plastic surgeon, the director of the International Craniofacial Institute in Dallas, Texas, Dr. David Jenikov. Welcome. I mean, we know, when you're in your uniform, we know exactly who you are. But if you're yeah. out, if you're out of uniform, do people recognize you? Or? Usually, they get away from me quickly. They think I'm a threat <laughs> of some sort. Can't really uh, hide that. Sometimes I'll wear a hoodie, but then that attracts security. So that's. <laughs> Well, congrats on such a successful show. Yeah. Did you, you ever think? And, and it highlights, you know, it highlights something that is interesting for a lot of families. You're raising a family. Last eight years, the cameras have been following you around, and certainly in, in Mia's case, um, has it been difficult at all being so open about the journey you've been through? You know, we're a pretty open family, if you haven't, you know, got that already from watching Duck Dynasty, but when we realized that episode that you showed, that Stand By Mia episode, The Wrestling Ring, we got so much concern for our daughter, compassion, support, outpouring of support from fans all over, that I realized there's not a whole lot of knowledge out there about cleft lip and palate, and we could bring awareness to this in a very positive way because we have been through the journey um, that we're still on, mm -hmm. but Mia has just become a phenomenal young lady, very confident and self-assured, and we wanted to share that story as hope for well, other people. You should be commended for that, because like you said, we can all relate to family and our kids, and seeing our kids suffer in any way, I mean, hits close to home for all of us. Oh, we were, uh, we were basket cases, you know, when we found out, uh, when we saw her in the womb. And we kind of had our pity party. And, uh, you know, here we are years later, and we've realized the best thing we can do is help other people who are going through the same thing, because we didn't know where to turn. And, and, and you're right. Nowadays, you can make that diagnosis of cleft lip, cleft palate via an ultrasound while still uh, in the womb. And th they've yeah. done even so much more. That was 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. So, so much more that they can tell. At the time, we didn't know if the palate was involved or not. But I believe even now they can even see a lot of that on ultrasound, which is great technology. Mm -hmm.